I think uh, we might not be together if we were if we were three individuals that weren't related. Uh, uh, well, you know, we work very well together. We'd, yeah, I think that's. Was that an air rifle? <laughs> no, no, well, this not always not. happens, folks, when we do interviews outside. People try to People shoot us. People try to shoot us. <laughs> Climbing in from 11 to 7 this week are the Bee Gees, the Brothers Gibb, with one. You know, a decade ago, the Bee Gees hit with the biggest soundtrack album of all time, Saturday Night Fever. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my work. I'm a woman's man. We asked them if it was a disco backlash. No, no, no there, was, there was a it's backlash, true. and I don't think... It's not easy at all, it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy for us, because there really was a backlash. It's not been easy for John Travolta. Yeah, well, I mean, for our mu on, the musical, on the musical side, it was more difficult for us, because we had a long career before Fever. And because Fever was so tremendously successful, there was a backlash to it. And everything that was, everything that it symbolised, the movie, it wasn't what the music symbolised so much as what the movie symbolised, yeah. that the, mu the music got dragged yeah. into it got to remember that it was a social change. It wasn't the uh, Bee Gees that created disco in any, by any way at all. And we've actually been credited with that. We can't believe that. We didn't create it. Um, uh, there was a social thing going on where everybody simply wanted to dance. There were people going out and taking dance lessons. You know, it was the strangest situation. And that we, was before Fever. We found it very difficult to believe there could be a backlash against anything that everybody liked or, or loved. And 30 or 35 million people were wrong. Now, here are the Bee Gees at number seven this week with one. Barry, Robin, and Morris Gibb, back with their first top ten hit in a decade. It's called One. 